All right, so I guess we have to wait. What? This where's is it? very useful information, forty-seven. No shit. So how does one solve a murder mystery, forty-seven? Find the culprit. Means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis, or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? We need to find a wrench. Is one thing. <laughs> what? Why? Because the wrench did it. No, we need the wrench to fix the still. Oh. Anyway, we have all the time on our hands. You could be a model, you know. Right. I'm serious. I have a friend who's in it. Jesus, that's Ooh, a hammer. It's part of the globe set. We can have a come over. Give you some tips. I'm quite happy here, thanks. Sir, we're the only model in this place. Have you seen our bald head? I know, right? It is glistening. I have. We oil it every single day. I don't suppose there would be one in the bathroom. Ah, yes, we can piss in the fancy sinks. I just. Oh, you have gotten soap. I stole their. <laughs> I stole their soap. <laughs> I swear, if there's another sword in this in this map. If if not, then we shall fashion the soap into one, and it will smell of lilacs. I you found the feather duster. If you want to be made as well as detective, the opportunity has come. I found the it's trophy like room. Wolf of Icicle Creek all over again. Pretty much. Hello, suspect. Your pants are far too high up your body. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't it was really dark. Much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not. Oh! Collapse. Turn back around. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward I'm just going to give you a fashion well, citation. Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. I hope we're writing this down. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot yeah. to see to. Oh, more questions. Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, no, not alive. He was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I'm toning all the business stuff out, so you know. Oh. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, mm -hmm. leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. Was he buttling? Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. That's what the hammer's for. Watch <laughs> the peacocks. Did you find out if the vote was notarized? Well, I would put her in jail just because she bores me to death. But okay, we we would we would be able to poison that, I think. But uh... <coughs> I love how you're thinking about murder, and I just want to solve this mystery and put as many people in jail as possible. Because I'm pretty sure that would solve our problems. The birds don't like me. They smell the oil that covers your bald head. <laughs> More like they smell the murder on my breath. <laughs> hey, you I didn't kill Zachary, at least. Unless you did it in your sleep before you got here. What be this? That's a cigar box. Steely, steely. How many things can we fit to our trench coat and bring with us? How many things can we steal? <laughs> <laughs> Alas, we too are decorating a Victorian mansion at home, and we need all of the fixings. A uh, lady standing in a room with... 20,000 chairs? Yesterday evening. Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Your damn sweater I says otherwise. I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. 
Anything else you want? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence Corny? is always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? Bring My one? Alexa <laughs> bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you she doesn't even buy all the crap I want on Amazon. Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again... Guilt isn't her strong suit. All right. Honestly, I've been, I'm depressed and we've only been here like 10 minutes. I know there are a bunch of plants and crap, but this place looks like there isn't a single light on in the entire place. <laughs> this is disgusting. They don't even color anything nicely. It's all brown and ecru and it's like ah oh, have you heard of people heard of pastels or anything bright exactly this is a nice freaking house though i would live here it just needs a coat of paint we're saving the dining room table for our final giant um reveal oh yeah yes <laughs> in our coat <laughs> i couldn't tell if that was beethoven or dr ruth it's probably Beethoven because it was like uh, a male figure. Hello. You say that. And I'm going to steal okay. your apricot. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> you did some fingering around in that fruit bowl, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> the banana pleases me. All right, What's I found for dinner? I oh, found another apricot. <laughs> Are we just gonna go up to all the suspects and be? How do you feel about these apricots? I kid you not. I saw her rearranging the. Why do you have two? More stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be on an episode of Antiques Roadshow after this. Whoa! I suppose I have to go back here. Oh, we just walked in the... You'll just have to collect all of the objects again. Yeah. We'll have to be sneakier in the dining room. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take the, uh... The cleaver this time. Oh, I didn't even see that... I thought it was a missing cleaver. Oh, so they let you pick up the apricots. Yeah, and the soap. Oh, that's delightful. This is our compensation, since we aren't technically on a contract. Oh, that's Edward. Um, we need to question Edward. You're not wrong, but we also need those apricots and soap before we get to him. We want us. We want to be smelling particularly fun once we talk to Edward. I feel like there's a uh, a uh, Easter egg if we um, if if we collect all the apricots, but I don't know. No. I, oh, an apple. Th there's no Easter egg. There's just the satisfaction that you are preventing scurvy. I literally can't tell any of these people apart, so I'm having problems. But it sounded like the first person was boring as hell and probably couldn't commit a murder if it was right in front of her. The second woman just has migraines, which makes her um easily perturbed, I suppose. I'm pretty sure it's one of the one of the girls, if I remember the uh, mission story correctly. It is a poisoning, and women is almost uh, I think is a majority of poisoning crime. If it were a man, they probably would have just stabbed him. Oh my gosh, what kind of mustache is this guy? He better not be the culprit. Can you tell me your I'd give him our detective hat. Oh yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. What happened to him? Stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admitted, but I think he understood. Are you gonna sit share your steamy drink? And wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. If that's all, 
I have a speech. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? A speech? Are you going to marry us? Suicide. Sure, he was upset by Mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. Anything else I can... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Well, I can see why he killed himself, but... He came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking. Zachary found dead in his bed this morning. Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy. And mother will surely have strong opinions. You can always talk about us. <laughs> Don't breathe. Excuse me. Alright, he's having a panic attack. Usually we're the ones that are trying to kill people, not your mother. Oh, maybe she does kill people. Oh my gosh, we have notes. Okay, so Edward exists, Rebecca exists. Pa we still, we, we haven't is, talked to Patrick yet. We gotta go find Patrick. We've talked to, oh, and we haven't talked to Gregory either. Oh, I love Zachary's photo. Can you go back to Zachary's photo quick? Can tell. Man, what a cheery looking man. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't question him. <laughs> That's a neat little statue. Wish we could take it. Damn it. Why do, what if we do a seance at the end? Oh, wouldn't that be a treat? <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, no, thank you. We don't need guns. Unless they come with apricots. Alright, let's see. Where to go to next? We've already been here. We do have a map, don't we? We do. It's at the bottom corner. Oh, I thought we could open that up and... Don't we have notes on where all the people are staying? Uh, no, we don't. It was a non-existent... That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Oh, yeah. really? We can't break in? Isn't that our job? Why can't we question the staff? Aren't they the oh most Oh my god. Wait, we know where it is. It's next to the wine, which is the perfect place to keep your swords, kids. But until then. <laughs> yeah, until. <laughs> We're going to make it out of here with another effing sword. It's uh, <laughs> it's me, Detective Phineas uh -huh. Wilson. How do you like my sword? And I don't mean my penis. I found the wrench. Now we can fix the still once we found it. I believe it's in the greenhouse. Of course it's in the greenhouse. What the still is for? It's for making the poison. This is incredibly devious. <laughs> I like it. We don't need the car battery. <laughs> Do you need help in the manor starting your car? We haven't searched this room yet. This ah, is the dining one. room. Wait, we've been here al we've been here already. By example, rather than by words and meaningless gestures. You're right. Like hugs and encouragement. I, I, no, we're not the hugging type. We've been in here too. This map is getting kind of confusing. Look, you're only on one floor. Remember, it's a Victorian mansion, so every room has six doors, two of which don't lead anywhere, and... Everything is on a very, very, very square floor plan. We need to find them stairs. Billiard then. room! I heard billiards. Yep, there's a billiards you table. Ah, there he there is. There he is. You look <clears throat> really smart in a good way. I mean, Wait, I like can we kill him with the wrench in the billiard room? I really do. <laughs> we could. All well, I mean, it's not lethal. Literature and, and such. If we try really hard. Yeah. Patrick Carlisle. Are you colorblind? There you were yesterday evening. Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Yes. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? I'm gonna say it's this guy. Don't tell my Just because he's a douche. She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I mean... How the fuck am I expected to How much was your dick out on the straw? Shit, I'm bored out of my mind. So, 
Is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father the father was like 80. He used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customer in these circles. If that's all I think I'll get... You Unless you want to marry your suspicious. sisters well, or something. No. Nah, I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. He I'm going bottle for a living. I'm going to say it's this guy. I I, I know I know <laughs> it's not, but I want I want to get this guy in trouble because I don't like him. If I get the option, we're going to say it's Patrick. Okay. I totally agree. I mean, he's wearing sunglasses at night. It's not nighttime. He's just indoors. Also, my song reference that he should be put in jail for that alone. Also, he's just a general general douchebag. I'd go out with him though. He has that charm that just makes you wanna throw up on your shoes. And I believe this is the last guy. Hang on, I want to get involved here, Menage a Trois, eh? Huh? Are, are, oh wait. Are you not? He's not the. He's not the last son. Was that a black man in an English manor? Hopefully he's in the will. I'd give him the whole manor. <laughs> I would too. He managed to get in. I mean, that's half the battle. Okay, surely there's a... Can't you just relax for a minute? And that's the listener, Ooh, is someone giving out massages? I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. I can't remember ever having a family event without one time. Why, because they fuck you in the ass? <laughs> that door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Thanks? I can't unlock it. Oh. I don't have any keys. What was that? It was a newspaper. Oh. Oh! A balcony? Hi, sir. Yeah, he's a, he's just here to, to be able to give us an outfit if we needed one, but we don't. We already have access to the whole place. Like we could pull it off like he could. We do. This is fantastic. I, I've never seen a, a disguise this effective in my life. Well, I have, but we didn't choose to be Helmut Kruger. When we uh, when we uh, played the first game, turns out Helmut had uh, access to everywhere. Ah, fine. So, oh, another bust. Are you worried that he's gonna see you steal a bust? Yes. <laughs> Just put it in between your butt cheeks, like everything else. <laughs> that is the door to Rebecca's room. Not a damn one of them's unlocked, though. I bet if we, like, tell the butler that we've talked to everyone and investigate and stuff, he'll be like, here, here are the keys. Um, this one's to my car. Here's we the key to the city. And $5,000. We still need to find Gregory. Was he the pudging, pudgy Mike Pence looking one? Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Sorry. You're shitting me. We're the detective. What if a crime happened up there? Well, I if guess. If we were ventriloquist, we could pretend that there was yelling behind us. Or that there was a crime happening inside his own stomach. <laughs> okay, well, okay. he's gotta be. He's got to be somewhere. Close. He's, I imagine he's on the first floor, because that's where everyone else I is. I got been. it. Once we solve the crime, we'll be able to go up there and talk to um, really old chick, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Seriously, though, where in the hell is Gregory? If you, if you go into your um. 
Is that not the butler? That's Fernsby, yes. Does he have any more information for us? Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. Nope, that's conclude no, investigation. No, not my party. I'll just go away with you. Okay, so this is the main foyer. We haven't been in here yet. Although I kind of want you to go back because I like the way you say foyer. 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 It's exciting. It's where you host your concerts. There's got to be some place where we haven't checked for. Oh, I get. I know. Hey. How are you? We Doing haven't checked well. in here. We haven't checked in here. We are such a good detective. We better get to keep the hat, Diana. If we leave with it. Oh no. This we've been room's here. familiar. Ah, oh, here he is. He was in this room the whole time. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening. You're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint. Everyone left about half eight. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying. Oh yeah, you look dull. Obnoxious sister and the wife spoiled Dim. Another one of her headaches. Would Thick. Worse than death. Like a bitch. Uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. Likely story. What if they were all in on it? Back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Tell me about Zachary. Zach. Do you use just for men, Gray? Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Is that all? Not very th anything else. You We're gonna to tell him that you said he's better off dead. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. All right. So we question so, everyone. Wait, we have to find the. No, we don't. We don't actually have to. We have to find the still. You're, that's true. Where did Zachary die? Uh, Zachary died in his bed. We've already been there. Yeah, but isn't that the greenhouse? No, I don't think. So. No, 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 no. Uh, the so, the, the place where the still is is somewhere else. Oh well, it is where the most plants are. I don't what know. Is, you might need to look up online. It might be outside. That is fair. Plants usually like to live, you know, in the dirt where there's sun. There's a still somewhere where you can, where, where, uh, where the person who did did this creates her poisons. Ah. Ah, there it is. Incredible. Oh, yes, that is very glassy. Found the garden. Good job. Oh, my gosh, there's even a person over there. Wait, we have to get through the maze? Oh, no one said there'd be a maze. Seems to be an easy one. That is a glorious fountain. Bad news, I'm afraid. Pee in it. We don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. You've got to be kidding No power, no problem. That's a totally different thing, isn't it? It is. Wrong. We're de a detective. And we refuse to be a photographer, too. Unless we're paid double. There it is. There's the still. Lucky you. Oh. What is it with there being no keys to anything? There's got to be a way in here. Yes, sure. He, he was upset believing his sister was... Damn it! I'd say well, They're so good about locking things. Oh, we can actually question Rosie the maid who confirms Patrick's alibi. What a bitch. 
Well, I'm not going to. Oh, we could have scanned Edward's speech, which the handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide note. You can question Emma and Gregory. Gregory confirms Edward and Gregory's alibi. You can't confirm your own alibi, but whatever. Oh, you can scan the portrait of Patrick Montgomery in the sitting room. Oh, Mar Montgomery Carlisle, that is. Oh, there are also footprints on the terrace by the steps. <gasps> Let's go inside quick and get some clues. I love clues. All right. There's only one clue left to get, though. Oh, yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, GeoJo2000 and uh, uh, LuigiFan891!